Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so I've done previous videos on uh, push start issues, no crank, no start, with dead uh, key fobs, but, and, and I've done variations of these videos with different scenarios because um, there are many different scenarios with this if you have a dead key fob or even if you have a dead key fob and you try different ways of trying to start and you still have problems. Um, this is another way that you guys can get your car to start with this particular set of uh, scenarios. All right. So first of all, if you guys have a dead key fob, um, uh, a, a dead battery in your key fob obviously you're not going to be able to get into your car so basically um on most key fobs you're going to have now depending on your vehicle uh depending on your vehicle you you will have uh for the most part a manual key just look at the remote all right there should be a little button that you can press or press down or slide or whatever and the little key will come out all right in this scenario you're probably definitely not going to be able to use your key fob to unlock your car and um you can use that manual key to unlock your car to get in now once you get in if you've had this situation already if you've looked at different videos obviously <coughs> you're gonna know <coughs> certain procedures on what to do if you have a dead dead battery in your key fob now obviously the most obvious thing you can do is to go to um, a cvs or walgreens or whatever or walmart or whatever and get a, get a battery for your key fob they're available in these stores but whatever you're stopping or stuck in a parking lot and and those stores are like you know, you're you're. It's late at night, and those stores are like, you know, miles and miles away. <clears throat> so basically, in that scenario, I'm just gonna go down the list of what you guys can do. It it kind of depends on your vehicle, but a uh, first thing you guys can do is, if you guys have a dead battery in your key fob and pushing the push start is not gonna get your car to start, what you can do, and this is the most obvious thing, not the most obvious, but this is the most um, this is what you can do, okay? You can actually use the key fob itself, okay? One corner of the key fob, you could actually use one corner of the key fob and, 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 and use it to push the push start. Literally use your fob key remote to push on the push start button, all right? There's going to be, most of the time, there's going to be enough um, static electricity. I call it static electricity, but but there's going to be enough of, a, of a electrical um, connection between your key fob remote and your and your push start. It's gonna your car is gonna send out a little bit of a, a, a of, of a charge to your remote just to identify that your key fob is the key fob for your car, and that should start your key to to start your car. Um, if that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, you guys could actually in 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 some cars there is a slot, particularly Nissans. There is a slot for the key fob. Just look for it. It's normally on the uh, left hand side of your um, of your steering wheel is going to be like a little square slot or whatever uh, in that in that case you could pop your your key fob in and try to start it it'll give it um, more the, the the car itself will actually send out more of an electrical pulse to the key fob to start it however there are there are, there are chances where that's not that that's not um, that's not available to you, and 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 even if it is, sometimes it doesn't work. And in in this other scenario, which isn't covered too much, um, you might have a situation of your brakes where your brake seems to probably be like a little bit stiff. It seems to be stuck. That kind of situation is what this video is particularly about. I've done uh, previous videos on all those other situations. But if you guys do have this situation where you try those two things to try to start it, but it, it doesn't, and you, you notice, obviously, when you try to start it, pushing the, the, the push start with the fob key and having to push the, the fob key inside the little slot, you, you do have a car with a slot. Obviously, you're going to have to have your foot on your brake pedal uh, 
and, and simultaneously push the push start to try to start it. However, if that scenario doesn't work for you, um, what you guys want to do, and this is in, in, in this situation where the brake itself is stiff. All right. If you guys have a situation where the brake is stiff, even if you guys are in this situation where the brake is not stiff, what you guys want to do in this case, even with a dead key fob, with a dead battery in your key fob, you guys will know this is a dead key fob battery issue. It's because uh, you won't be able to get your doors to unlock. So in this situation, what you guys are going to want to do is um, you guys are wanna, going to want to push your push start for 30 seconds. All right. You're going to push your push start for 30 seconds. All right. A lot of times what happened is now this depends on your vehicle. It might work on uh, most vehicles, depending that this really does depend on your vehicle. But but if those other two um Scenarios don't work out for you. You could definitely try this, particularly if you have, if you notice that your brakes feel a little bit, uh, a little bit different, like stiff. All right, push the push start for 30 seconds. You count down for 30 seconds. All right, and and after that, try starting it with those two scenarios, with your key, with your with your, um, with your uh. Fob key remote touching the push start. Um, a lot of times, what happens is the reason why this happens is uh, sometimes. Sometimes, why this happens is when your key fob, when 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 the battery on your key fob is like 100% dead. Um, what happens is it's not gonna. What's the word? Sometimes it uh, it it changes the um, quote unquote signature of the key digitally. Um, don't, I'm not hundred percent sure on it, but, but something, you know, with a dead key fob, something programmably did change possibly maybe your key, maybe your car's not reading a key fob because of that. But all you gotta do is press it for 30 seconds without your foot on the brake. You press your key fob for 30 seconds. All right. Without your foot on the brake, you can press your key fob for third. No, I'm sorry. Without your foot, you're going to press the push start for 30 seconds. You're going to push your push start for 30 seconds. All right. In a, in a lot of cars, what happens is during that 30 seconds, your your car will um, will like reprogram or whatever. Re re uh, re. What's what's the correct word for it? Re recognize your fob key. All right. After 30 seconds is up. After it's reset. You're going to use your fob key again to press on the the push start or you're going to put it in a slot or whatever. Whatever it is that that um, whatever vehicle you have that allows for that. And uh, hopefully that gets it to start. All right. So that's pretty much the trick. I hope this has helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave uh, a question in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff guys have your own personal experiences with this definitely leave a leave a comment in the comment section all right guys hope this helped you guys out hope hope uh this gets you started uh, and on the road all right guys take care